Yo guys, what's going on? It's Mikhail23, back with another video. Today we're here with some more Sandlot League highlights. Today talking about my game versus De Holy Grail. Red Sox versus Mariners. You can see that we are 6-0 and he is 4-2. So we're trying to stay undefeated. And, um, you know, he's got uh, Whitley, the brand new Force Whitley on the hill. So we wanted to see if we could hit him. And uh, Larry Walker starts it off well. Wasn't really on it, but, you know, ship it special. It, it's going to happen. And uh, it always happens. So that's how it starts off. one nothing us. Gary Sheffield is going to go opposite field right there into the gap. Um, wasn't on that one either. Kind of a gross start, to be honest, but Babe Ruth puts this one into left field, and that is going to score Sheffield, making it an early 2-0 game, but as we've, uh, as we've seen in these custom shipping games, two runs ain't much. Uh, Day had an easy run right here. I don't know what happened, but base running, a mishap, it's going to cause everyone to have to go back, and no one scores on that play, and Cano grounds out to first, so... Opportunity missed right there. We get out of it with zero runs allowed. So, hey, I'll take it. Uh, a little bit later here, we got Mike Trout, top three, doing what Mike Trout does, and that is hit a no-doubter and uh, giving us the 3 nothing lead. There we go. Forrest Whitley, definitely not too hard to read. Um, I know there was some hype around him, but didn't really have any issue reading this card um, compared to, you know, like some other cards in the game. Um, he's definitely not... I don't know if I don't know if I'd use him, but I don't know. We'll see. This is customs on Ship It, so I can't judge too harshly. But you can see we're up four nothing. Gary Sheffield that shoots this cutter to center field. It's gonna carry just enough. Uh, that's gonna make it six nothing here. Still no outs in the inning. We're off to a really good start this game. Babe Ruth next batter gone. Center field seven nothing. We were feeling it, man. We were off to a really really good start and uh, three runs and uh, six outs and that's the game pretty much. So. That was my goal, just trying to end it, but uh, Biggio, he's going to get us number 8 right there on the cutter, and it's going to be out, and uh, yeah, 8 nothing, man. We're off to a really, really good start this game. Um, we just need a couple shutdown innings, but we couldn't do it, man. 1-2 count, we go to the cutter up and in, and I needed this to be inside, and I, I hung it, and it's going to cost us 3 runs right there. That's a, that's a big hit. With 2 outs, that's a huge hit. I needed that to be way more inside, but... It hung. So now we got to score even more, which, you know, we can do that. Mike Trout left field and gone. Another one, his second bomb of the game. He was going absolutely off um, like he always does. He's batting like 500. Um, speaking of going off, Gary Sheffield was hitting pretty well. Um, perfect, perfect. No doubter on the up and in cutter, making it uh, 10 to 3. So we're trying to retaliate after he scored three in the last inning. Um, so, yeah, 10 to 3 game. Mike Trout going deep for him here, bottom four. He just went with that um, up and away cutter. He hits it early. Gets It's Mike Trout. It's going to leave, you know? It's Mike Trout. You can't really stop that card. <laughs> he's just he's just a beast, dude. Hornsby, ship it special. Literally not on this baseball, but it leaves somehow. Um, kind of gross. Also, this is a brand new pitcher he just brought in, too. This is the reliever John Smoltz. My second time facing him. And both times we uh, end up rocking this card. Um, that's going to be gone to center field, Chipper Jones, the next batter, 12-4, to um, yeah, John Smoltz, man, I just, there's, there's a lot of John Smoltz, but almost all of them are just crushed in this game, Mike Trout, his third bomb of the game, left field, gone, that's his, that's the third of the inning, third of the game, uh, third run of the inning is what I mean right there, um, Mickey Mantle, got to roll this Chapman in, it don't matter, that ball was crushed, if I remember correctly, I think I hit that 510 feet, that one was obliterated by Mantle, so, we do have a mercy potential now, 14-4, to 4. Uh, this is just a routine grounder that somehow got messed up, every time the animation happens, it literally just sucks, it's terrible, and then Gary's gonna go deep, because that's how this game works, and uh, yeah, 16-4, to 4. We have put up 16 runs here in five innings. If we played this whole game out, I don't I don't know how many runs I'd have. But, um, yeah, he comes back. He's going to get some runs. Gary Sheffield, right center. He goes swinging on the 3-0. He gets it to go. But uh, we still have one run to let up if we still want the mercy. And we do end up letting it up. Uh, Robinson Cano getting just enough of that one into right field. So uh, he's got two outs to work with. He needs one run to stay alive now. But luckily, we are able... To get that final out, um, we do have to bring in a reliever, but Mo gets the job done. He had to throw three pitches, so I'll take it, man. GG's today. We take the win 16-6 to in a mercy, and we go uh, and stay undefeated. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any other game plays. I ended up 
not getting my gameplay, my rival's gameplay versus 21, and my game versus Scan. So we ended the season 8-1. and one. It's playoff time. We have qualified, and I can't wait to get into it. If you guys don't know how the playoffs work, basically it's going to be the top four from each division. So right now, uh, I know on the screen it appears that uh, it's me, Scan, Day, and Ants, but instead of Ants, uh, Truman is actually going to be in the four, the four seed, I think. So uh, Truman's going to play Scan, and I'm going to play Day to try to make the grand finals. So I'm excited for that. We're going to see if we can uh, make that final eight, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next highlights video. Peace out.